Hey God feelers! Today we're going to do something a little bit unusual. I'm going to talk about how to get rid of a sty. A sty is mostly a bacterial infection on your eyelid. It can be your upper eyelid or your lower eyelid. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I woke up this morning. I had such a big eye. You can still see it a little bit. And I applied two methods that I love to share with you. Within a few hours, this you, it's almost not visible anymore. So I was like, I need to record this video so you can still see something about it. Why do you get a sty in the beginning? Why did I lie on my pillow and suddenly I wake up in the morning and I have this swollen eye? Like in my case, I have contact lenses and I have to admit one of them is very, very old and I didn't change the solution often enough. So it's very, very likely that I get the streptococcus, it's usually a strep infection, the strep bacteria. I got that in my eye and then it swelled. But also what happens sometimes if you share a towel like this and you, you dry your eyes with that and other people share it as well, they share their bacteria with you through the towel and you bring that into your eye. That can cause a sty or your immune system is low, maybe you are on your period. That can be an issue why you get easily infections in your eyelids. So then if you feel like overall there's an immune issue, bring zinc into your life. Got a video on what's the best zinc supplement, not just any zinc because 90% of the zinc is just rubbish. Take the form that is, has the most bioavailability. This is what you can do from inside. If you've got a sty right now, I want to know from you what do you feel is the cause for your sty. Let me know in the comments below. And now we're going to dive in to the two remedies that help me to get rid of the sty within a few hours. One of them is a little bit hardcore. The other one is gentle. Let's start with the hardcore one. So this is not for everybody, guys. Please use this method with caution because it's pretty intense. It works pretty fast, but it can also hurt a little bit. And that's garlic, guys. Here, garlic. Now, garlic contains the component called allicine, which is highly antibacterial, antiviral, and also anti-inflammatory. So what you would do, you cut up a bulb of garlic, just like I did here, and then you use one little piece of that garlic and now it's really important guys don't get it inside of your eye you just want to apply it outside topically which helps to lower the uh, lower the inflammation lower the swelling within a few minutes actually and also to uh, kill off the bacteria that cause this eye infection so just topically if you're very sensitive to uh, if you have very sensitive eyes don't do this because it will just burn this is what i did like that and I recommend to do this up to three times per day, just until the uh, swelling goes down. That's the hardcore method. Now the softer one works as well. I often do a combination. I first do the garlic and then a few minutes after I do a warm compress of black tea, organic black tea, like this one here that I'm using. So you basically take out the tea bag, you boil the tea bag in some water, did that here for you. It's swimming in there. Make sure when you touch the tea bag, you have clean hands. That also goes for the, uh, for the garlic one. Always clean hands, wash your hands first. Make sure the water boiled so it's antibacterial. Because the last thing you want to do is squeeze here or bring more bacteria into your eye. And then you have the warm, not hot tea bag, which you put just on your eye like this. Hold it a few minutes. Maybe you want to lie down just feel the warmth it should feel really really good for your eye if it doesn't feel good it's not a good thing just trust your gut feelings for me it feels really really good I let that on my eye for like two three minutes until the warmth subsides and then you can repeat this also three times four times as often as you want per day you can use the same tea bag. The only thing you want to make sure if you use the same tea bag, you want to always boil it again first because you don't want to bring the same bacteria back into your eye. Okay, so always boiling it first. Two minutes, bacteria is dead, death. Two minutes, bacteria is dead. And then you can apply it again, not hot, just warm. Okay guys, I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments below. Maybe you have a special trick that you use if you get eye inflammation, if you get a sty. If you have any swollen eyes, let me know in the comments below.